It's almost time to start spring cleaning and here to teach each of us some simple do-it-yourself projects with old items from your own house is Chris. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited yeah. because it's that time of year. I feel like with spring cleaning, everyone is kind of ready to dust off everything in their house and maybe get rid of things that they might have deemed junk. Yes. But we're not here to talk about it being junk because you have these really cool ideas about repurposing. Uh, tell me about like wine bottles. That's a common item. Um, what are some things that you can do with wine corks or wine bottles that people have left over around the house? Um, there's several like good ideas. You can cut them down and glue them to the back of a um, like a picture frame or something like that. Make like a cork board. Um, bulletin board kind of thing with the corks yeah yes and even if you're not a wine drinker I love the fact that you can you can go to craft stores and do that as well like you can yes. use these corks and make these really cool crafts that you can reuse for something in your house as you said yeah. um, tell me about what we can do with bricks that's another household item that people might have around and they might not ever think you could reuse them yeah in some cases you can uh, there's holes in them you can put some soil in it put some succulents or just smaller plants kind of similar to what we have in front of us. Like this right here. We were talking similar. about this before. We didn't even plan this, but I love that. I love it because succulents have become so popular. I yes. feel like they're beautiful and it's cool to see different ways that you can use them mm -hmm. in, um, you know, in something like a brick or a piece of wood. I love it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So other items. What about old paint cans? Tell me what are some uses that we could do with these? Uh, paint cans could be cleaned out and uh, decorated on the outside and then used as like an ice bucket or just to store things. Yeah. They're like the options are limitless essentially yeah, absolutely. Um, and what about wood pallets that's another one that I think a lot of people have around their house but it's cool to think of these creative things and uses yeah uh, wood pallets can be cut down and the planks can be used to uh, make decorative items a clock um, a table Oh, that beautiful clock, yes, that you see on your screen. That you can reuse that and make a gorgeous, I love that idea. I would have <laughs> never thought of that. Yeah. That's amazing. There's so many cool creative things. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do and where we can go for more information for more ideas like this or kind of about your company, what you guys do. Um, yeah, so basically in general, we, uh, we're a veteran-owned owned organization and we, we go in and people tell us what the junk is and, and we help them get rid of it. Um, something that sets us apart is that we do a lot of a lot of separation and repurposing, um, donating, recycling, things of that nature. So 60 to 80% of the stuff that we pick up uh, stays out of the landfill. Really? 60 to 80%? That's huge, Chris. That's yes. incredible. I, yeah. It's always good to be going green and thinking about, you know, our, our, our earth and making it a better place. And I love these creative uses you've come up with. You guys can go to the website on your screen. Mm -hmm. Chris, it was so much fun having you in here. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, sir.